Hello guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how to fix widescreen on Sims 4. This tutorial will be quick and simple, just make sure to subscribe to this channel and leave a like on this video if you will find this guide useful. So first things first, you want to launch your EA application and go to your library where you will find your Sims and then you're going to click three dots right there and click repair. After you will click repair, uh, this will basically repair any corrupted files if there's any. If there will be no problems and this didn't fix your uh, white screen, then you want to go to view properties and right here on advanced launch options, you want to write down window mode and go ahead and save it. And after that close and uh, now if that still didn't fix the problem, you want to go ahead to your task manager and close any applications which has an overlay. So make sure to find them and go ahead and close them because they may um, interact with your EA application. And that's pretty much that. Uh, after that, you want to go ahead and update your GPU drivers. So for me, I'm using um, NVIDIA application for it. And as you can see on the drivers option, there is an update for me, which I need to download. Uh, if you are not using NVIDIA, maybe you want to go to your device manager, open it up. And here you will find all of the drivers uh, on display drivers right there. And you want to go ahead and click or right click of your mouse, update driver, search automatically. And if there will be any, you're going to update them. And that should fix your problem. If not, then. Uh, then you want to delete all of the documents which are mods on your Sims 4. So you want to open up your docu documents so you will find them here. And you want to find Electronic Arts and then Sims 4. On Sims 4 you want to find mods and here you will find um, any mods you have. So those files may be deleted but you just want them to basically just get them and move them to desktop and then uh, delete them from here and that also may fix your problem. The last option would be to go ahead and check your display settings and um, look how Sims 4 settings uh, look like too. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open up Sims here just like so and now we're gonna go to our settings right here. And on settings, you want to be here on system and go ahead to display. Uh, then identify your display where your sims are playing. Uh, scroll down until you will see display resolution. This is the one. And now you need to check what is the revolution, um, resolution on Sims 4. So you need to find that file. And that file is called options. You want to open it up just like so and then on edit you can go ahead and write down find and write down height so the height is 1080 like my resolution and the width is also 1920 so it uh, should be like that and that's pretty much it all of these should fix your problem with a widescreen on sims 4 if this video was helpful make sure to subscribe and i will see you next time bye